Hello everyone, my name is David and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use the Fetch API with React Native. So first you want to go into Terminal. Now we're going to go into the desktop, so desktop and then we're going to do expo init we'll do fetch API and then we're going to select a blank template Now we're going to open this up inside of VS Code. So I'm going to do code period. Now I'm going to do npm start. So in this tutorial, all we're going to be focusing on is what's in app.js. Everything else you can leave alone. So we're just going to close this on the side. Okay, now we're going to start writing the code to use the fetch API to fetch JSON data and then display it inside of our application. We're going to need to import a couple of things from React. So comma, and then we're going to do use state for managing state. We're also going to do use effect. For our components, we're going to need to import safe area view, flatless for displaying our objects for our data, and then activity indicator. So now we're going to replace this regular view with the safe area view. We will be fetching the data from this JSON. So copy this link and we're going to define this as a constant. We're going to do const is loading and then set loading is equal to use state and initially we're going to set this to true now what we're going to do is set it here we're going to do ternary operation so is loading if it's true we're going to show this activity indicator and if it's false we're going to display our information So we're going to do const data and set data. And initially this is going to be an empty array. Okay, now we're going to use the use effect hook that we imported up here from React. We're going to do fetch movie URL. So we're going to go to this link and then we will get a response back. But this response needs to be put in a JSON format. I'm gonna call another then. We're gonna take whatever that JSON was, and now we're going to set our data with JSON.movies. So what it's doing is it's getting this as a response and then we have to take it as a JSON and then from that JSON we go inside of movies and now any errors we get we're gonna catch that error and pass it as an alert finally we're going to set loading to false. So now that set loading is false, we can display our flat list. Now inside of this flat list, we're going to need to pass in data. So data is equal to the data that we fetched.
key extractor is equal to we're going to get an ID and an index. Now we're going to need a render item prop. going to return a text. This text is going to say item dot title and comma item dot release year. Actually we're not going to return this. We're just going to pass in a text. Now we get our data back, but let's display it in the more friendly format. And also we're going to fetch, we're going to fetch the title. And now here, we will open this up. We're going to do set title to json.title. Now we can display this at the beginning over here. So we're going to wrap our flat list in another view. Then we're going to do a text. Here we're going to do title. Same thing, we want to get description. And we're going to display this all the way at the end. Description. Okay, now I'm going to fix this up. Okay, so we have everything the same. Now all I did was change up the styling. So I added a couple of styling. I did movie text, I did title, description. That's it for this tutorial. I'm gonna be posting more. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.